Mopar fam. Oh, everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today, we're at Atlanta Dragway. We're gonna run the truck. I got a new tune from Jay. I sent him a bunch of data and logs from our last weekend out when we did the big race event with uh, Torque Storm. So I got a lot of data I sent to him. So I got a new tune to try out today. I tried it out on the street today and it was actually pretty good. Um, still a little bit rich, but we are almost there. So a couple more hits today and we should be able to get this thing pretty much perfect. Weather's hot, it's about 90 degrees. Humidity's terrible. I'm about to look up the DA here in a minute, but it's gonna be well over 3,000. It's uh, not gonna be good, but we're gonna do some hits. We're gonna have fun. Let's do some racing. All right, guys, here we go. Pass number one, we're gonna be facing, it looks like a BMW. Let's see 
All right, guys, so second pass wasn't too bad. We're still just a little bit rich, but we're pretty much almost there, man. Um, we ran a 12.6 at 107, and the 60 foot was 1.8. So not too bad. Definitely, obviously, we need to get the stall converter installed and uh, do some other things, but with the heat and the baby boost at 7 PSI, I mean, about all we're probably going to get out of this setup right now cold weather gets here i'm sure we can probably run deep deep 12s maybe high 11s uh, when we get some really good da's but right now on 7 psi in the heat i just don't think we're going to get much better than that until we at least put a stall converter in the truck uh, when we get the stall converter in that's obviously going to be a big difference and that'll drop our time significantly so other than that we're going to let it cool off again we're going to make another hit but there's that pass right there Not too bad, right lane? Let's do it again. So as you see, the second pass worked out for us. And I wanted to go over that, give you a couple of pointers. You know, if you get to your track and the first time you go out and make a pass and you just blow the tires off, chances are there may not be no rubber down on the road yet or on the track yet. So if you kind of hold back, let some cars go down the track, let some slick car tires go down the track and then go back out there, chances are you'll probably get a better pass and you'll actually hook up. And that's exactly what happened to us. The first time I was like the 10th car down the track, we blew the tires off and ran a second slower than we normally do. Went back out there to second pass after we let probably about another 50, 60 cars go down and went out, made another hit and we dead hooked, didn't even spin the tires at all. Definitely much better. So just keep that in mind in case you're having problems with practice.